Hello, this is the screencast for the Aeneid, Book 1, Lines 8 through 18. Basically, this opens with the invocation to the Muse, Musa Mihi Casas Memora. Um, Virgil is following the customs of epic poetry by um, calling on the Muse to help him tell the story. And so, Mihi Casas Memora relate to me the um, reasons, um, and then quo numune liso is an ablative absolute, so with what divinity having been offended? Then, quidue dolens, this way is, you know, attack on, or, so, or suffering what, what suffering vexed at what, um, and then finally we have the subject of all of this stuff, like who it's talking about, which is Regina Deum, Juno, who is queen of the gods. Okay, so then Juno, what does she do? She, in polar it, she drives, or well, drove, it's a perfect subjunctive. Um, so she drove Wirum, she drove the man, uh, distinguished in loyalty. Um, and she drove the man to undergo so many um, to undergo so many falls uh, and to approach so many labors. Okay, and so tantai ne, so the ne at the end makes it a yes or no question. So, was there, like, how was there such anger in the mind, in divine minds? And this anger is a poetic plural. So you wouldn't say anchors, it's just anger. Then you have herbs antiqua fuit, which is pretty self-explanatory. So the city was ancient, the city was old, and this city is talking about Carthage, Carthago. Um, and a little bit more description, Tiri Tenuere Colony. Basically, this was the... Um, so tenura should be tenurant, it's syncopated, and basically the Tyrian colony held this city, and the Tyrians are basically from this place in around Turkey, in the Middle East, a little bit below Turkey, and they, that is, Tyri is this Tyre, is the city where they came from. And there is Italium contra Tiberni Tibernia quae longae ostia. So basically, it's facing, like they're describing Carthago still, so it's facing Italy and the mouth of the Tiber, or mouths of the Tiber, um, at a distance, sort of far away. And basically, if you look on a map, it's across the Mediterranean Sea, and it's facing Italy. And so, basically, they were rich in wealth, and the most harsh and aggressive in pursuits and zeal of war. And quam unam, so this is talking about the city still, so which alone it is said that, since it's being said, that Juno uh, favored of all the great lands, all great lands, um, and this is a PPP. Um, with even Samos, which is one of Samo, one of the cities that worships Juno, 
and um, and with so Samo was even placed after so with Samo placed after so hic ilius arma hic cruis fuit and hoc so hic hic hoc that's an anaphora right there and so here were were um, basically fu is used twice so here were her meaning Juno here were Juno's arms weapons here were Juno's chariots here was her chariots um, chariot and then so you sort of skip over to Yom tomb now already so already Juno Dea is a subject she she both since there's quay quay so it would be both and so she both um, held and cherished uh, this this to be the ruling sort of powerful race um, but only if the fates would permit it. So um, here at the qua, it's any or some. It's like if any fates allowed it, permitted it, uh, because the ali. So after si nisi numene, all the alis go away. So this should be ali qua, but it's just qua because of the c. And if the fates would permit it, because the fates were more powerful than even the gods. And that's it.